The Nighthawk is one of the most recognizable watches from Citizen and perhaps one of their most popular. And a little while back, they released a new version of their iconic Nighthawk. And in today's video, we're putting it up against the original and trying to find out which watch is better, the new Nighthawk or the old one. This head-to-head -head battle will be scored based upon 10 specific categories as noted on the screen, with a perfect score of 100 being possible. Because the dimensions are almost identical, there is not much to say on this first category, and so I give each an 8. This second category also provides no difference because they each contain the same solar-powered EcoDrive movement, which is the B877. This movement not only provides time and date, but also a dual time feature. So having the same movement, they both get tens in this category. Finally, in this third category, we see some differences. The old Nighthawk is completely brushed, except for the case back and the back of the lugs, whereas the new Nighthawk is brushed on the sides of the case and case back, but the tops of the lugs and crown guards are polished. Also of note on the new Nighthawk is the black textured fixed bezel that has a glossy finish. For me, I prefer the uniform brushed finish of the old Nighthawk, so I give the old an 8 here and the new a 7. For the dials, there are some similarities, but there are actually more differences than you might realize at first glance. Let's start with a few of the similarities. Both have bi-directional inter-rotating bezels and both have dual-time hands shaped like airplanes. But honestly, this is where the similarities end and the differences begin. Now, the color schemes are different. Uh, the old utilizes red and the new yellow. The inter-rotating bezel of the old is like a sloped chapter ring of sorts, whereas the new features a fixed sloped chapter ring with a flat rotating bezel on top of it. The indices on the old are applied batons with the numerals 12 and 6, whereas the new Nighthawk indices are painted with a large triangle at 12 and rectangles for 3, 6, and 9, and numerals for the remaining markers. The handsets differ on each as well. There's difference of font and font size in some places and differences with what is actually written on the dial. Considering all of these things, which dial do I prefer overall? This was a hard choice, but in the end, the old dial pulls out a win for me here, mainly because I like the red color better than the yellow, and also I like the looks of the applied indices better too. So I give the old an 8 and the new a 7 here. Related to the dial and a very important category for any watch is legibility. We'll also consider loom here too. Both watches have good legibility indoors and outdoors due to their dark dials and contrasting hands and indices. Both have equally potent loom as far as I can tell. But in the end, I feel like the new model is more legible than the old due to the larger indices overall and the fact that there are more numerals which provides quicker at-a-glance time reading in my opinion. So I give the new version an 8 and the old a 7. There's not much to say for this category. Both these watches have flat mineral crystals. They do the job, but I think we would all prefer sapphire on these watches, so I give both a 5 here. Each watch has two crowns, one for setting time and date and the other for using the inner bezel. On the old, the time setting crown is screwed down, whereas on the new it is not. The bezel crown on the old model is at the 8 o'clock position and the one on the new is at the 2 o'clock. I found the old bezel crown on the original Nighthawk much easier to use than the one on the new model. 
I like the looks of the diagonal lines on the crowns of the new, but I found the grip texture on the original Nighthawk crowns to be easier to manipulate. For me, the crown category is an easy win for the original Nighthawk. I give it a 9 and the new version a 6. This is a hard category to compare since my original Nighthawk has a mesh bracelet and my new version has a leather strap. Both the bracelet and the strap on these watches are well done and well made, so I give each a solid score of 8 here. When I searched on Amazon, both of these Nighthawk models were readily available. The old model I found cheaper at around $211 to $235 and the new model I found at $297. I think the better value here is the original model. It's almost a steal if you can find it at that $211 price. I give the old model a 9 here and the new a 8. Honestly, I think both of these watches are good looking and similar in many ways, though their case designs and lugs are slightly different from one another. In my opinion, the old Nighthawk is the better looking version out of the two, so I give it an 8 and I give the new version a 7. So all 10 rounds of this battle are complete and you can see the scorecard for each watch on the screen and we put the numbers into the computer to see who won and the winner is... The original version of the Nighthawk with 80 points. And the new version came behind by 6 with a total score of 74. There you have it, folks. Newer is not always better. Though I honestly do like both of these watches, in the end, the original version of the Nighthawk comes out on top for me. Now, I definitely understand some of these categories can be a little subjective, so if you disagree with me, that is fine. Please share where you might have scored some of these categories differently down in the comments below. And do let me know which one you like the best, which one is the winner for you, the new Nighthawk or the old one. Please let me know down in the comments. If you like this video today, this head-to-head -to -head battle, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out and I really appreciate it. Please stay right here on the town watch and keep watching some more of my videos. That would be great too. Click on one that might pop up on the end screen. I'm sure that you might like it. But that is it for this video today. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time.